She drove Andy and Barney crazy and came very close to perishing in a plane crash that happened the same day that Buddy Holly died, February 3rd, 1959. What happened to Susan Oliver, the film fatale that almost made Andy cross the line? In season four, episode 18, Harvey Bullock wrote the Prisoner of Love episode for The Andy Griffith Show. It was a complete departure from the show's normal cast of characters and their daily life and focuses on a summer night at the courthouse between Andy, Barney, and a beautiful prisoner. Susan Oliver plays the gorgeous jewel thief that has her way manipulating Andy and Barney to the point of being able to escape. Susan Oliver was born Charlotte Gerke, February 13, 1932. She was the daughter, daughter of George Gerke, a well-to-do political reporter, and Susan Oliver, a practicing astrologer to the stars of Hollywood. Her career reads like a who's who of the working Hollywood actress. She was on Dr. Kildare, Ben Casey, Gomer Powell, USMC, My Three Sons, The Twilight Zone, Murder, She Wrote, Days of Our Lives, and just countless other shows. She was also in the pilot of Star Trek and was well known as Vena, the sole survivor of a crashed spaceship. Her talents were also used behind the camera a few times as she directed an episode of M.A.S.H. and of Trapper John, M.D. On February 3, 1959, she was a passenger aboard Pan Am Flight 115, a Boeing 707, on a flight from Paris to New York. The pilots lost control and the plane fell from 35,000 feet to 6,000 feet before they regained control of it. This happened to be the same day that Buddy Holly, Richie Valance, and the Big Bopper died in the plane crash that went down in, in Clear Lake, Iowa. These events caused her to be terrified of flying, even turning down job offers because she, she would need to fly to get there. She eventually underwent hypnosis to overcome her fear. In July of 1964, Hal Fishman, who was a TV personality in L.A., took her up flying in a Cessna 172 over Los Angeles. The experience motivated her to go the very next day to Santa Monica Airport and try flying lessons. This started a new chapter in her life, aviation. She became one of the most successful female pilots of her day, setting numerous records and achieving multiple ratings for flying. Susan went from being scared to death to fly to becoming a master at it. Talk about facing your fears. Her last years focused mainly on, on the small screen, doing TV movies and love boat type shows. Susan never married. A lifelong smoker, she was diagnosed with lung cancer and died May 10th, 1990 at the age of 58. An untimely end for such a beautiful lady that was talented in so many ways. Thanks for the enjoyment you gave us through the years especially your portrayal of our favorite convict on The Andy Griffith Show. <laughs>